horrendous crash. Somebody ended up taking out two vehicles. Test Team Green. Holy. Plows and pileups. All I want to do is open the road. Blocking Jamie's path. Holy Jesus. And MSA's newest heavy. That's not good. Makes a house call. British Columbia's Coquihalla Highway. She just rolled over and stayed in bed. A winter storm. That's very nasty. Covers the roads in white. I tell you, it's not a nice place to be in a snowstorm. Everybody's trying to get to their destination. Braving the snow. Wow. In his 40-ton L.A. rotator. First thing this morning, there's a big dump of snow, and probably about minus 15. Is Jamie Davis. We're heading to a customer call by Othello Road. Can't see more than a couple truck lengths ahead of you. A little worried about this job. That's the guy I'm after. Jamie spots his rig. Right there. Damaged in a collision and holding up traffic. That guy's right in the middle of the lane. On the opposite side of the highway. Prepare for a lot of traffic down here. The next turnaround is seven kilometers away. Oh, you watch, it's gonna be a crash before we get there. People come into a snowstorm and they just don't see it. They don't get off the throttle and bang, bang, bang. I'm already worried about this being a huge pileup. Seconds later. He's warning us, this guy. Truck in the plow truck. Plow just got rear-ended. Oh, this is a mess. I knew it. Plow truck stopped. Another guy plowed in. Holy Jesus. We're all lined up, and I was at the back of the line. This guy came down the hill a bit too quick, plowed right in the back of me. It's just crazy. The pile up is blocking the road. This is a bad spot to have people stop right now. And the path to Jamie's jaw. There's a bunch of things going on here. Everything is piling up all at the same time. That's what I thought would happen. Oh boy. the coke. All the lanes are blocked. A three-vehicle pileup. Jamie Davis is here. And Jamie is the first on scene. The only way to solve this problem is get stuff off the road and get it off the road fast. How's it going, man? Can you pull ahead at all? I can, but I'll drag him, Jamie. Now give her a heck. If it doesn't unhook, I'll put a chain on it. There's a plow truck, a couple of vehicles involved. It's team of one here. There's a tow truck on scene already. Jamie springs into action. All I want to do is just open the road. And hooks on to the wrecked pickup. There's a lot of moving parts to this accident and I'm the only guy there. They're clearing a big accident. The rotator is enabling me to move things quickly and get the road open. Jamie hustles. 
One of them days. To clear the second four-wheeler. I'm working at a frantic pace, laser focused. This has to happen in a hurry. There's a guy with a plan. This whole recovery, this whole accident scene is really about quick clearance. Get these things off the road. With a pile up cleared. Jamie finally reaches the rig he was called out for. Problems come up and things change. You need to be able to work through those issues. But his job is only getting started. This thing's in the middle of the road. It's time to rock and roll. Let's get this done. Is anything starting to move up there? Everybody's slowing down. 100 kilometers southwest. Our team B emergency crews are there. On Highway 1. Don't look good. Oh, wow. Moments ago, a loaded dump truck traveling in the heavy rain. <laughs> slammed into two vehicles. On scene for BC Highway Patrol. I want to see if they want to do an inspection on it. Is Constable Blair Fuller. Somebody ended up taking out two civilian vehicles. It was a pretty dramatic crash. Talking to the paramedics, when I found out they weren't seriously injured, it was a huge weight that was just right lifted off. Minutes away. There we go. In a 50 ton Vulcan record. It's a little bit of a different uh, day than towing on the Coquihalla. Is Al Quiring. When the traffic is all backed up, it's a little bit difficult to maneuver a 60,000 pound vehicle around cars. Acquiring flat deck. Arrives ahead of Al and quickly gets to work. Come on, me. The time is of the essence. Traffic is backing up. Joining the fray. Alrighty. Is Al's son, Terry. It's stressful working in a quick environment. You gotta think on your feet. You gotta open the highway as quick and safely as possible. Come on, let's go. That's no choice but to go slow. Midday traffic on Highway 1 is at a crawl. They're just pulling it out right now down the one lane. While team choiring hustles to clear a horrendous crash. Let's keep going down. quite common for multi-vehicle rear-enders in that area. It's like a little Bermuda Triangle of disaster. A dump truck approaching a busy section of highway. Failed to stop. Definitely need some carnage out there today. Al's heavy is now on scene. Where's your dad? Under, Under the truck. Oh, look at him down there in the dirt. Wasting no time, Al pulls the dump truck's drive shaft. Getting dirty? That's all part of the towing. How long did that take you? About a minute? Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Working alongside dad is always a fun day. Yeah, we'll be rolling here. Perfect. 
Thanks, Al, for coming out. 30 minutes after Team Quiring arrived. Okay, I'm on it. The wrecks are tow ready. Cool, it looks like we're like all wrapped up here. This crash today, everything went by the book. We're not trained together, but we all seem to like work together for the common goal. Once the scene is clear, it's about uh, game on. And it'll be like we were never there. I'm amazed it opened this fast. Looks like it's blocked. An hour northeast on the cove. That traffic backs up up there. There'll be more collisions. Jamie tackles a damaged semi, holding up all lanes of traffic behind it. If we don't get this road open, we could have an 80 car pileup. What do you have in there for load? Box off, I don't believe. Airplane parts, OK. The trucker is carrying an extraordinary load. Really, really expensive. If somebody bashes into the back of him and destroys those aircraft parts, that's a big deal. The transport won't be out of danger until it's moved off the highway. How much air do you have? Nothing. No air. OK. Oh, look at this air's off here. But the trailer's brakes are locked. Try to get it running. Fill the air up. The biggest issue here is the air connection from the truck to the trailer. He needs a big glad hand. That'll be the quickest, I think. Let's quickly patch this thing, have him limp off to the side of the road where we can deal with him at the pull-up. With Jamie's jerry-rigged airline in place. I'll see you at the exit. The wreck can finally move out of the way. The coke is open. Roads open, traffic slowing. This job for me was quite an adrenaline rush. That was an intense wreck. In the safety of a pullout. We'll go to our yard with both of them. I could take you uh, into Hope, maybe. Just leave me on the flying deck. Jamie preps the damaged tractor for towing. OK, go on up. I'm going to take the tractor, and somebody's coming in another truck to take the trailer away. So cold, the rollers won't even roll. It's a solo mission gone right. If you can clear a road fast, it saves other damage, saves lives. Handling this job by myself was a satisfying day. I was having fun. It made me realize that I still got it. All clear. At 4 a.m. in the Fraser Valley suburbs, a home security camera captures disaster. Heading to the scene late that afternoon. Yeah, feels good. In his newest iron. This is the first job put this truck on the on the road. MSA towings Kerpal Ban Wait. I'm going to test the truck now and how much we can do with this. For the past two years, we're almost there. Kerpal and his sons have been building a 35-ton heavy wrecker from the ground up. They call it 35 ton, but if you look at the muscles, I could say it's more than 50 ton. We have to get everything put back together today, and it's going to be on the road. Okay. I'm really excited 
to use it. But today's test for MSA's newest heavy. Holy! Is no ordinary wreck. That's not good. The whole box is off the truck. Looks like the missile hit the truck and it started flying everywhere. Look at this, the, the cement, um, the padding. It's a really good impact. This one broke off from here, from the steps, and pushed in by a put. The massive crash ripped the box off the homeowner's work truck. That's not good. And it's pushing in on the family's house. Oh, boy, boy, boy. It's not easy. In Abbotsford. That's not good. An extraordinary crash has shaken a house. It was shocking. And a homeowner. Suddenly, we feel a big, big sound. Then we just wake up everybody. Then the kids start crying. Can show the video here. In the early morning, an out of control driver <laughs> careened into the work truck, which slammed into the home. This guy's come. Oh, boy, 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 boy. That's a big impact. Yes. We luckily, uh, because our work truck is there. If his work truck is not there, then this guy may be come through the uh, home. The driver walked away, and his vehicle was removed. The driver was drunk at the speed of over 80K. It's a nightmare. Arriving to help deal with the homeowner's truck. Holy, it's right up against the house. An MSA flat deck and Kerpal's son, Gersharn, or G. Van Wait. That truck is just mangled. The box tore completely off the chassis in my years in towing. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, we have to pull it off the house a little bit because it's touching the house. The window might break. Yeah, no, we can't afford to have any more damage. Separated from the chassis. How should we rig that side? The team targets the nearly empty cargo box first. Why don't we go on the slings now? Okay. Just to throw the sling under, then we can lift it up. With a strap cradling the box from the 35 tons boom, a second winch line is added for balance to ease the unit away from the house. Okay, this cable up. I'm adding both my cables, one to the front of the box, one to the back so I can control the box, lift it up straight, so it won't go left or right. Go. G hits the controls. Both at the same time. In the first real test of their brand new record. This job's not a typical challenge that we face. G inches the box away. It's not about weight or force. It's more about being gentle and finessing. So it doesn't rotate back into the home. Make sure it's not swinging. Causing more damage. Boom up, boom up. It's trying to spin. Come on, hold on. It's going to be a very interesting night. Ten minutes away, 
in downtown Abbotsford. Here we go. The Abbotsford Police Department rolls out. Hey everyone, we're blocking traffic now. An operation of unprecedented scale. Tonight's initiative is a coordinated effort between Lower Mainland Police Departments through the Fraser Valley all the way to the coast. We are going to be checking for sobriety of drivers, both drinking and driving with alcohol and impaired driving by drug. En route. It is a bad day to drive impaired if you're going to be on the highway. Is Constable Scott McClure. We are going to be looking for impaired drivers on every westbound Highway 1 exit. For a public awareness campaign called Light Up the Highway. In British Columbia, 64 people die every year as a result of impaired driving. Taking impaired drivers off our roads, as I genuinely believe it saves lives. From Chilliwack to the coast, 115 kilometers worth of exits will be covered off by authorities. Hi there, Abbotsford Police, how are you? Constable McClure does the first road check. We're doing a counterattack looking for impaired drivers. Anything to drink tonight? Of what will be several hundred tonight. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of cars every hour that are passing by that location and seeing a sea of red and blue lights. Drive safe, okay? Take care. We want to make sure that the public knows that we're out here and we are conducting these stops and we're looking for impaired drivers. Between checks. It's probably already passed us. A call comes in over the radio. Possible impaired driver got called and it's being followed uh, on the highway and it's avoiding our exit. West, there it is. Oscar 15 spot checked, continuing westbound, uh, just through McCallum. We call it a spot check. It's continuing westbound past us, and then we leave it to the next units. Hi, sir. How are you? Up the road. Are you able to come out this side of the car so we can talk to you? Sergeant Paul Walker catches up with the driver. I just don't want you opening your door because you're going to get smoked. After we're pulling somebody over on the road, our approach is treating them how we would want to be treated. Just like this, OK? That's it. After a quick sobriety test. Perfect. Awesome. Zero. Very good. The driver blows a zero. In this case, the driver was not impaired. That's awesome. That's what we were hoping for. Back at the exit, other drivers have met different outcomes. One of our counterparts has already taken one impaired driver off the road. That's why we're here. From the Fraser Valley to the coast, the roads are safer tonight. Drive safe as Operation Light Up the Highway proves a success. Tonight has gone very well. We've checked a lot of drivers. A uh, majority of them are abiding by the law. And it just demonstrated the partnership that we all have together to make our road safe. Thank you, officers. Have a safe night. Back on a residential street. An awkward load. Swings dangerously close to a family home. Go boom down. Let me put this one in the middle there. It's starting to spin a little bit. Yeah, it'll lift it up from the middle. We're actually going to move the second line on there to get more control. Up. And make sure that it doesn't spin into the house. Watch your fingers. 
Up, up, up. That's it. That's it. With the spin under control. Just to drive the truck forward now. MSA's new 35 ton carefully draws the 1300 pound box away from the home. For this big truck, that weight is nothing. You're lifting a piece of cake with the spoon. Keep coming. They maneuver the box onto the lawn for safekeeping. Boss, that's it. Push, 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 push. Okay, go ahead and put it down. The box is full with plumbing supplies. That's good. They want to keep the box there. They can empty their stuff out. But the box. What's the plan with the truck now? Is only the first half of the job. It's, gonna, it's not going to roll nice. But look how that rim got just squashed. It's a bit challenging. The chassis is twisted. And we're noticing that the chassis has rubbed up against the garage door. Oh, boy. In a Fraser Valley neighborhood. The truck is sitting this way. The frame is bent this way. A twisted truck frame. Garage doors pushed in. Part of the house took pretty good beating. Is wedged into a family home. Given it's somebody's home, you want to leave with them happier than they were when you got there. I don't want to pick and swing it here so close to the house and like if it rolls back this way, it's coming down. No, no, if you are lifting up from here and driving the truck forward, it won't go back. It won't go toward the house. You want to do that? Sure. For maximum control, G and Kerpal. Yeah, I do. That's it. Will rely on their new 35 tons underlift. Go up, 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 up. This position is so important to pull that chassis off the garage. It won't swing and go into the house. Keep going. G picks up the tail. Spins the wreck. Safely away from the house. What do you want to do now? But to haul the mangled truck away. Back the flat deck up or we should? Yeah, flat deck. They turn to G's ride. Right there. That's it. Okay, give her. The truck is too damaged to be driven. In the early morning, an out of control pickup <laughs> slammed the work truck into a family's home. Now, Two hours after arriving. That's it. Team MSA has cleared the home of danger. Very safely, they removed the truck. They save on other damages, anything for the house. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. your help. Thank Glad you very nobody much. got hurt. Oh, yeah, no. We are, yeah. Luckily, we are safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. We can uh, go to sleep in two nights because they clear away everything. The recovery went great. The wreck is out of their hair. They can focus on repairs for their home and hopefully have that all sorted out soon. They'll return for the box under daylight. So they have to empty that before we take it away. But for tonight... We get it done every single time. 
It's a successful first job for their new record. Everybody is happy, including me. They can do the job. That truck is good. Six hundred kilometers north. It's cold and clear. In British Columbia's central interior. The mine is dead out here. Just outside the town of Quenell. We're all going to a, a big landfill. A fifty-ton auto wrecker. Moves out. Think how much garbage comes every day. With company owner and operator Rob Barber. Today we're heading out to an incident at a rural dump site. I like going out to the bigger. Hot on his heels in a 25 ton. I always get excited when I roll up onto a heavy wreck. Is Rob's nephew, Kyle Langlois. I think the challenges of this job are going to be different. Garbage sites are not very pleasant. We'll go and see what we can do. Above town, in a landfill. A tractor trailer hauling garbage. There should be. Rolled over. Fell right off the road. Attempting a ramp up one of the piles. This truck looks like it's had better days. And now. Garbage is gross. It's Rob and Kyle's mess to clean up. With the aroma of the garbage dump, we're gonna do the best that we can to get this job done as soon as we can. 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of garbage. A funky smell in the air. Just outside Quinell, BC. Stinky mess that is. At a local dump. Uh, I'm not a big fan of garbage. Rob and Kyle face a 70-foot tractor-trailer unit on its side. At least it's not hot out. It's cold, and the smell isn't too horrible. It's going to be a bad spot to stand up. But the unusual location. There ain't a whole lot of room over here. Leaves little space to work. The dump area where it is is too narrow, and I can't get a good angle to get my truck to pull the trailer over. But if I could just put one truck up there. Rob spots the best angle for the pull. But it's 15 feet above on a pile of trash. I don't want to drive up on this. There's garbage and cans, and I just don't want to have to drive up on the garbage pile to roll the truck over. Instead of going up top, yeah. I'm going to try to do a low pull. OK. Middle one leg? Or do you want further up? Front and the back. Front and the back? We're hoping that Kyle can roll the tractor over, and I can roll the trailer over. Far line? Rob chooses the tight space over a shifting mound of garbage. Two chain. Okay. Right around the frame there. We're going to try to get my truck in the best position we can with the amount of workspace we have right now. Squeezed between the wreck and a hill of garbage, they'll use two lines from the 25 ton and a line from the 50 ton to muscle the truck upright. Okay. Yeah, pull it out. With little room for error. Stuck on it. They start the pull. Some more back. The trailer is wanting to slide. The ground's kind of moving out from underneath it. More back. Back one, Kyle. No, back one. Kyle is getting the truck to start to roll. Stop, stop the front. Okay. That is. May not work. All I am doing is getting the trailer to slide towards me. Well, stop. We're not getting any ground pressure. Let it out. This plan isn't going to work. And if we keep sliding it towards me, we'll run out of real estate for me to stand the trailer up safely. Put a line up higher on it so we get more roll. Now Rob faces a move he didn't want to make. I'm going to have to drive up on top of the garbage pile to get a better angle so I can roll it over. His 45,000 pound heavy wrecker. I'm worried about losing a tire. Must find a path up the 15 foot high pile of trash. He's going to really have to watch. It's soft garbage. It's not a road, it's not pavement. We don't want him to end up burying his truck in this garbage. I didn't want to have to do this. In the hills above Quinell. I didn't want to have to do this. 
Rob is forced to go off-road on a pile of garbage. I really hate driving up on the garbage pile with my tow truck. He has to find a perch for his 50-ton heavy where the edge won't give way. Now that we're up on top of the garbage pile, it'll be far better to pull on. So far away. But reaching the wreck. So much line. We'll stretch the 50 tons winch line over 180 feet. We're gonna run a line down to the trailer and just gently pull it over now. Rob leaves the rigging to his nephew. Brings me right back to my first recovery with him being a swamper. <laughs> Hi, God. Positioned on two levels. We want to pull. Okay. They make their second attempt at the rollover with a keen eye on the roofless trailer. The integrity of the structure is all in the floor. The walls just hold material in. They have no actually pulling strength. It's coming. Keep coming. Like that. Good. Well, I think that went pretty good. We upgraded it, still all in one piece. The second time went really well. It stood up nicely. Uh, no further damage. They're gonna haul their own trailer away. Been a little bit quicker, but I've been less grossed out, but. Rob will take away the tractor. I think sometimes you try the easy way to get past a problem, where you should just go to the way that you know that'll work. And he leaves the job with an important reminder. Trust your gut and go to the first idea. Good job, stay safe. Back in the Fraser Valley. I live with by a drunk driver. The last piece of a wreck. Oh, yeah, not worth it. Asker Paul and G back on scene. We left it here for the owner to empty out the contents of the box so he can go to work. Yesterday, the family's work truck and home were struck by a speeding motorist. Today... Ready? Yep. The traumatic event is still being felt. This is a very scary part because that's not a small impact. It's not worth it to drink and drive. Okay. It was actually a pretty overwhelming situation. That's good. From one family to another. Perfect. It's a close call. Looks good to me. That's it with a happy ending. The good thing nobody got hurt. Hey, let's get out of here. Whatever's damaged is damaged. Things can be replaced. So the health and people are more important.
next time on Highway Through Hell. Oh, it smokes. In deep. To the right, to the right. MSA. Oh, I can't. They just talk. Flex. Unbelievable. All their muscle. Oh. Jamie. Wow, this wind is something else. Goes sub zero. Oh. oh, boy. And it's David versus Goliath. Keep going. I think it's massive. At the shipyard. Hey, hey, hey hold up. Yeah.